So often athletes are in the driver's seat, in control of their own destiny, but every now and then it's beyond their control. And such is the case for the LSU Tigers. We don't really know what's going to happen. You know, it's, we've left a lot of things up in the air and a lot of questions unanswered. So it's uh, it's tough in that you know to have that kind of mindset, especially here at LSU when we've had you know the last three years we've we've won the SEC tournament. And we've, we've kind of known you know our, our fate. Yeah, usually in baseball, you strive to be able to you know control your own destiny, but this time we really can't control anything. Uh, I think that it's a soothing feeling as well, though. You know, saying that. Just let it go. Whatever happens, happens, and I think that's what we're taking right now. Winners of the last three SEC tournaments, LSU finished with a 13 and 17 conference record this season, failing to make the tournament for just the second time since 1985. SEC tournament's been the LSU Invitational for the past three years, and you know, it's tough watching other people play, and I uh, know that we can't even have a chance to defend it, but um, we're coming out here working as hard as we can, and uh, you know we're all proud of our guys working as hard as we can to know that uh, when regionals comes, we're going to be uh, as ready as we can be. However, with an overall record well above 500, it's 36 and 20, and an RPI in the 20s, they've still got an outside shot at a spot in the NCAA tournament. I don't know if we even need help. You know, I think our resume is pretty good. Uh, you know, everybody that seems to have an opinion on it, that knows something about how the system works, seems to think that we've got a really good shot of being in already. And so the Tigers have been practicing in the South Louisiana heat, simulating game-like conditions as much as they can, seeing the time off as rest rather than rust. I think this could be a blessing for us as well, you know, give us a little rest and um, hopefully maybe be a positive thing for us as we go into the tournament. Yeah, let's put a positive spin on it. You know, you give McCune and, and Gosman and Eads a, a week off. We're more tired at this point this year than we typically are, and so I, I don't think the week of rest really is going to hurt us that bad. Head coach Paul Maneri says that South Carolina's head coach Ray Tanner sent him a text over the weekend telling him to rest up and then go win a regional. Now, while Tanner isn't on the selection committee, he is a regional rep, and at this point, the Tigers will take any bit of positive news they can get. They'll find out for sure Monday at 1130. For CST Tonight, I'm Aaron Colfield.